All right, so up nerds, uh, we're doing a two-bit binary counter using T flip-flop. So counter, we're going to assume starts at zero, goes to one, and then after one is two, and then three. Since it's a two-bit binary, we know that the highest number is can, it can go up to is three. So then now let's do our present state and our next state. So we're going to have zero, one, two, and three. And then our next state is going to be 1, because when we're at 0, we go to a 1. When we're at 1, we go to 2. When we're at 2, we go to 3. But now when we're at 3, we're going to go back to 0. So now I write these in binary. So my present state is going to be Q1 and Q2. So it's going to look like this. And I have my next state. It's going to be Q1 plus and Q2 plus. So 1 or 0 in binary is 0, 0, 1 is 0, 1, 2 is 1, 0, 3 is 1, 1. I'm going to shift this up so they're lined up. And then now I have 1 for my next state, so it's going to be 0, 1. I have 2, it's going to be 1, 0, 3 is 1, 1. Now I go back to 0, so it's going to be 0, 0. So we finished with the binary, um, the state table for a binary counter. Now I need... Um, my state assignment table for a T flip-flop. So if they ask for a D, this would be good. I could just cross these out and put Ds. But I need my T flip-flop, so I'm going to use a state assignment table for my T flip-flop and my state excitation table. So for T, it goes Q1, or you just put Q, and then Q, capital Q+. Plus. And it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And then T, think of it like a plus sign. So it goes XOR, exclusive ORD. So you're going to have Q, exclusive ORD, with capital Q, plus. So if T, if Q and Q plus, if it's 0, exclusive ORD with 0, we know it's 0. 0 exclusive word with 1 is 1, 1, 0. So if it's changing, you put a 1. If it's the same, you keep it. You just put a 0. So now I want to do our state assignment table, or our state excitation table for T. It's going to look like this. So Q1 and Q2, T1 and T2. It's our next state. So it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So we look, so for T1, T1, you have Q1 and Q2, right, at 0, 0. So you look at your present state here for that, and then you look at the columns Q1 and Q1+. plus. So at 0, 0, you look here, 0, 0, T is going to be 0, put a 0. So now for Q1, when it's 0, and Q2 is a 1, we're going to do this one right here. Q1 is 0, Q1 plus is a 1, Q1 is 0, Q1 plus is a 1, we know that T is going to be a 1. So now, we don't really have to use a table for this one. We know that the equation for T is exclusive ORD. So let's just do the next one without the table. So if Q1 is 1 and Q2 is 0, Q1 is 1 and Q2 is 0, Q1 is 1 and Q1 plus is 1, right? They're not changing, so I know my answer is going to be 0. Next one at 1, 1, so 1, 1, I have Q1 is 1 and Q1 plus is a 0, so they're changing, I know it's going to be a 1. So now for T2, we look at the rows, Q, or the columns Q2 and Q2 plus. So, at, so when it's 0, 0, the first row, Q2 is 0, Q2 plus is a 1, so it's changing, it's going to be a 1. Q1, now the second row, Q1 is 0, Q2 is 1, I'm going to have Q2 is 1, and Q2 plus is 0, it's changing, it's going to be a 1. This one here is 0, 1, it's changing, it's going to be a 1, this is changing, it's going to be a 1. Now we need our k-maps to get our equation, so you just draw your k-maps like this.
zero and a one, zero and a one. So this is Q1, this is Q2. This is for T1 equals. I'm just gonna copy it twice to get my T2 K map. So T2 is gonna be this one. So for T1, I look at where my min terms are, basically where my ones are, the rows that they're in. So at 0, 1, I have a 1. And at 1, 1, I have a 1 as well. For T2, it's 1's everywhere. So now I group them. These are grouped, and these are grouped. So for T1, the equation is just going to be Q2. Because Q1 is changing, so you don't include it. Q2 is just 1, so it's going to be Q2. T2 is 1 everywhere, so you're just going to put this as a 1. Now to draw your D flip flop or your T flip flops, you're gonna need two of them. So you have two equations for T. So I'm just gonna copy paste this. So this is my clock right here. And it's a positive edge. I'm just gonna assume it's positive. It doesn't say it's negative or positive, so I'm just gonna assume positive. If it said negative, you'd put a circle here and here, but I'm going to assume positive for this one. And here's T1 and T2, and then Q1, Q1 not, and then Q2 and Q2 not. So for T1, the equation for it is Q2, so I'm just going to draw this going in to Q2. And then T2 is 1. I'm just going to put a 1 here.